Okay guys, so just going to send a quick demonstration as how you start your programming. Okay, so here's the layout that I want you guys to work with. Okay, so as you can see at the top here, we've got week one. We've got every day of the week, only if you choose to train every day of the week. Okay, so Sunday through to Thursday. Goal of the session, as you can see at the top. Okay, so on Sunday, I want to do power work. So we're going to put you in brackets, power. Okay, and I want you guys to come up with your warm up, right? Normally, you follow the ramp protocol. So I'm going to put ramp in here. Okay, there, we're going to come up with a couple of exercises that you put here to raise your heart rate, activate your muscles, mobilize, and potentiate. We've done this in the beginning of the year. And then you can state how many sets you're doing, how many reps are you going to do, and what rest period you need. Okay, over here, your session, this is where we start getting into the good stuff. Okay, so when we're working with power as our understanding okay normally what I like to do is I like to do my powerful exercise and I like to what we call superset it with a strength based movement okay so here I'm going to put in a broad jump that's a nice power movement then the second exercise I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a hip thrust okay so those are my first two exercises. So the idea here is I'm developing power in what we call a horizontal plane of motion. Okay. And of course, based on the sport that I have, it is based on. So we're going to go with, we're going to go with rugby as my main sport. Okay. So when we're running forward, it very, again, that's that horizontal plane of motion. So we need to become powerful in that plane. Okay, so that's just a quick idea. Okay, then we're gonna go and we're gonna do. I want us to do four sets of both. Okay, because it's a superset, we work them together. When we're working with power, we need to understand that it's very short amount. Okay, so a maximum of six reps, but obviously a minimum of one. I want you guys to do five. Okay, hip thrust. We're gonna look at a strength base. So if we have a lot of weight that we can work with, we can do six repetitions, okay? So that weight is nice and heavy. Then over here, the rest after that, I want us to rest for 90 seconds, okay? So that's just a quick idea of what we're going to be doing first. Now, if you look at the following week, we need to progressively overload it, okay? So how do we make it more difficult? Okay, the idea is we can either increase your intensity, so make the weights heavier from here, or we can increase the volume. Okay, so the total amount of work that needs to be done is increasing, which obviously makes it more difficult for the body. Okay, so let's go, we're going to increase the volume. Okay, now you don't always have to increase the amount of repetitions that you're going to be doing, we can always increase the amount of sets. Okay, so Today I'm going to show you we're going to go five sets this time, five repetitions, we keep that at the same. So we're going to progressively overload in that manner. Okay, As me for an athlete, based on my needs, I need to get more powerful in this plane of motion, which is our horizontal plane of motion, and i got to get more, i got to get stronger here as well. So based on my sport, which is rugby. I need to become more powerful, so that is my session, the goal of my session, and I'll lay it out that way. And as your weeks go by, we progressively overload it. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration for you guys to do for us for next week. So I want you guys to create your own program and send it through. Okay, remember you guys are still very new to this, so just try to the best of your abilities. And if you have any questions, Feel free to ask.